Hi everyone. Welcome to day 26 for life skills. Today we are actually going to be looking at recipe preparation, which means how you get ready for a recipe. Every month Unique gives us a packet of recipes. And I know right now it's kind of hard because we shouldn't be going to the supermarket very often and we need to buy what we need. So you might not have everything in your um, kitchen right now, which is what I want to look at today. We are going to not make anything, but we're going to look at what you could make. And if you have the ingredients to make something, you can try it. I'm okay with that. I think that's awesome, but I'm not expecting you to make any recipes. So for our main dishes, we have two different things. One is hot ham and cheese sandwiches. And the next is chicken bacon ranch pizza. So those are the two main dishes that Unique gave us for this month. For our side dishes, we have two things as well. Green bean fries, that sounds very good. And also a salad bar also sounds good. Finally, they only give us one dessert, which is, to me, sounds amazing, carrot cake cupcakes. When you look at a recipe, there are a couple of things you have to pay attention to. One are the items you need. We have to know what we need to have before we start making the recipe. Otherwise, if we don't have one of those things while we're making it, we might not have something and then we can't finish making it. In Unique's recipes, they put the items you need too. For example, you might need cupcake liners, a muffin tin, a bowl, spoon, and a spatula when making cupcakes. Once you've established what you have and what you don't have, the next important thing to do is read the recipe. It gives you steps on what you should do and how to make it. It's very important to read your recipe first. It gives you important directions and you want to make sure you know how to do everything or can do everything. A lot of recipes start by telling you if you need to turn on your oven. That way, while you're making the batter, you can have your oven heating up to the right temperature so that you will be ready to put it in when you're finished. So what I'm gonna have you do today is you're actually gonna be looking at each recipe and what you need for that recipe. So our first thing is main dishes. And remember there's two, the ham and cheese sandwiches and the pizza. What I want you to do is go to your kitchen if you're not there yet. Walk on over to your kitchen and I want you to look and see out of all the things you need, what do you have and what do you not have? So if you have ham in your refrigerator, you're going to drag your check mark over top of that because, yep, you have it. Eight hamburger buns. Hmm. If you don't have any hamburger buns, you're going to put an X over top of it. So you're going to go ahead and do that for all of the items. Most people have knives at home. This is one you'll again put a green check mark on. You might not use all the check marks or all the X's and that's okay. You're going to do this for both recipes, the hot and ham, the hot ham and cheese sandwiches and the chicken bacon ranch pizza. Then I'm going to ask you a question. Which dish did you have more ingredients for? You're going to tell me what you had, which one you are more likely to have the ability to make. Next, we're going to move on to side dishes. We had two of those too. Again, same thing. Do you have flour? Yes. Put a check mark. Do you have salt? Yes. Put a check mark. Do that for the green bean fries and your salad bar. I want you to really check. Don't just guess. Sometimes you might be surprised at what you find in the cabinet or even in your freezer. I know for me, sometimes I remember, oh yeah, I didn't remember that I bought all these frozen veggies, but they're in the back. So really check and make sure you do or do not have each of these things. 
Finally, for dessert, I want you to mark for the carrot cake cupcakes which ones you have and what things you don't have. The last page is actually going to have you go back through and you're going to put a check mark next to any recipe that you could make, that you had all the ingredients for. Then on the other side, you're going to put a smiley face for each recipe you want to make. You might not have all the ingredients to make the cupcakes. That's okay. If you still would like to try to make them, you're going to drag that smiley face up there. If you have all the ingredients for it, you can put a check mark there. If any of yours have a check mark and a smiley face, that means you have everything and you want to make it. Go ahead. If your parent and guardian gives permission, you can make the recipe. On Google Classroom, I actually have your um, all of the recipes uploaded. So when you click on it, you can access all of these different recipes to make. Let's say you're missing one or two ingredients. Sometimes you can modify a recipe, which means you change it a little bit so that Maybe for the pizza, you have dough, but you don't have bacon. It's okay to leave out the bacon. Little ingredients that aren't as important are okay to leave out. I hope you enjoy this activity and I'm looking forward to seeing what you have in your kitchen and what you're missing. All right, friends, have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye.